In this video, I'm going to show you how to write short code for your WordPress website. And specifically, we're going to be writing short code that counts up and returns the number of blog posts across your entire website. So there's a couple different ways where we can insert this code. I recommend doing a child theme. If you don't have a child theme, I have a tutorial on how to set up a child theme up here. So check that out. The other options are a custom plugin, which is kind of hard and a custom function, which kind of gets messy when you work directly with your theme. So um, go watch that video if you don't have it and then come back here and we're gonna start off the tutorial now. So right here is Tony Teaches Tech. It's my website that we're gonna be working with today. We want to go into our WordPress dashboard. So go ahead and do that a while. And like I said, we want to have a child theme installed. So go to Appearance Theme Editor and you'll see that we're working with a child theme as opposed to the actual theme itself. Open up your functions.php file and add a couple lines at the bottom. And I want you to type in this code. So this code, the first line here is just a comment. It says what the code below does. It says short code for number of posts. Now this is our function. The function name is WPB total posts. That could be whatever you want actually, but for uh, ease of say, like for just following the tutorial, I recommend that you uh, copy it verbatim. Now we define a variable here with the value of WordPress count posts that are published. So that value is gonna be returned when somebody calls this function. And then finally, this line 27 is adding to our list of short codes, another short code, uh, and it's gonna be called total posts. And we're pretty much renaming the function that we just wrote to total posts. So when we go into our blog post, we can just use total posts there directly. That'll make sense in just a minute. So let's just update this file right now. File successfully edit it. Now let's go into our, uh, let's go into our about page, just cause I think this is maybe a good place to write something like this. So let's edit this, this file. And once it loads, I'll show you how to add the short code here. So right here, hey there, I'm Tony Florida for six years of my life. I worked as a software engineer. No, 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 no. Let's see if I talk about my blog at all in here. Yeah, let's just do it down here right up around my bio. So uh, I have a promise to you, blah, 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 whether it's a personal blog. So let's just say to date, I have written, and then we can go and call that short code that we just wrote, total posts in square brackets, blog posts on my website. Okay, let's um, update the file and go to that page, scroll down to the bottom. And if we did everything correctly, you'll see that instead of showing the words total posts, it actually executes that function, counts up all the posts across your entire website and displays that number here. So I have 31 blog posts on my website. Now that you know how to write short code, you can probably start imagining the endless possibilities of all the different types of short code you can write. I'm gonna have a couple more tutorials on short code in this YouTube channel, so definitely subscribe if you're interested in learning more about those. If you like this video, give it a thumbs up. I'll see you in the next video.